All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and I'm here today with... Rumstar, what up? All right, and there we go. And what are we telling the people about today? This is kind of one that we told them a lot about it, and we got the whole world super hype. We were super hype, and then it we were it was never heard from again. Can we <laughs> fill the people in today on what is going down with Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 HD remake that we were talking about before? Yes, so in case you have no clue what we're talking about, we will link our videos in the description below. But uh, we were at Bananamco back in January, end of January, where we got the chance to play a bunch of upcoming games. And randomly got thrown into a quick meeting where we kind of pitched uh, why a BT3 HD remake would be very, very cool. And how excited the community would be. And he was like, you know what, it's great, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll check on that. And just as part of like, you know, showing him how excited the community was, we made our videos and then basically took both of those videos and then took it to Bottom Line Club. Like, hey, look, check it out. The community wants it. And then we got no answer at all for about, uh, what's it been like three months now? Almost three months? Two months. Almost two months. Yeah. He's been gone for a while. So yeah, the way it was explained to me, like the guy that we talked to, he was, he's, he's that guy. He's the guy who kind of transfers like what North America wants to see that Japan can do or make easily, I guess, or maybe mm -hmm. things that Japan already has that they could bring over here and whatnot. Uh, and we were like, yeah, yeah, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is easily the most popular Dragon Ball Z game ever made. And that being remade for the new consoles and PC and whatnot would just blow the world up, essentially. And he's like, okay, okay, fine, fine. So he was going to go over to Japan, and he wasn't supposed to be gone very long. He was supposed to be gone like a week or two, and that's why we made the video. He was supposed to be gone like a week or two, and then come back and then tell us if Japan gave us the yay or nay on it after hearing our feedback from our videos. And then he went to Japan, <laughs> never and came he, back. he never came back. <laughs> he never came back. Just... I've been asking my contact at Bananako US for like the last... Literally for like the last month and a half, I'm like, hey, is there an update? Is there an update? Oh, no, he's not back yet. He's not back yet. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Literally, I get, maybe he might be back tomorrow. And then it's like the other day, I got an answer that was just like, yeah, his, his desk just has uh, cobwebs. <laughs> he's just been gone that long. So yeah. basically what's going to happen is, is he's supposed to go to uh, Japan. He's going to pitch him an idea, let him know like that we want this, show them uh, probably the original video, and then he'll come back and say, you know what? Can we do this? Can we do that? I kind of like work on feedback like that. So as we said, you know, earlier in, in January, this isn't going to be an overnight process. This isn't going to give us Tenkaichi 3 HD tomorrow. Like, it will take, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months before we even get an answer if it's possible. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting on that. So there, there is no real update, but this is the update video since Eric is asking us, what's going on? You guys hyped and there's nothing else. This is literally the process that we're going, that we're going to be going through until we uh, find out what's next. So that's kind of like what's been happening. Yeah, dude left again. He could be back by the time you're seeing this video. He might not be back for we don't know how long. Presumably soon. The longer he's gone, you would think the sooner it would be for him to be back. But yeah, this video, it's not like, I mean, you know, probably a lot of you guys disappointed. Oh, damn, we wanted a real update. But I have been telling people for the longest time, I don't know anything more than you. I, get, I benefit none from holding back on giving you guys information. So I figured as soon as we found out this, even though it's not a real update, you guys should know just about everything we know about this. This is a community project, right? Yeah. And something else that I wanted to take a second to address, uh, since we saw a bunch of feedback in the past, I guess, two months about the game, uh, I saw a bunch of mixed feedback. Like, I saw a bunch of people saying, no, we'd rather get Xenoverse 2, no, uh, we don't need uh, BT3, give us something else, give us a fresh new game. Let's take a second to talk about that on our shot, because oh, thank I don't know if we were just clear, I don't know if we were just not clear enough, or people just chose to only watch like a minute of the original video, but BT3 would not take away any resource from Xenoverse 2. In fact, I'm pretty sure Xenoverse 2 is being worked on as we speak because the game's doing very, very like the game is very successful and it's doing amazing numbers right now. So I'm pretty sure it's a no brand to give us Xenoverse 2. They're gonna probably working on that. But Dims is working on Xenoverse 2 if they start working on it, or if not, they're gonna start working on it sometime. So Xenoverse is behind Dims, or, or Dims is behind Xenoverse. A BT3 is a different company. Two companies can develop two different games at the same time. So it's not going to take away well, any resources. Yeah, and another thing to point out is that a lot of people want, oh, give me a new burst limit, give me another infinite world, give me things like that. Making a whole new game and coming together to just kind of HD up and port over an old one with maybe online in it are way different things. It takes, yeah. like, I, I don't want to say next to nothing, but it takes way less for them to take an old game and remake it and throw it on a new console. Mm -hmm. People, and I saw a post, whether it be anime, multiverse, comment sections, people were running up, oh my god, Rhymestone and Thundershot could have got us a new Raging Blast. They could have got us the Raging Blast 3 project, but they asked for a Budokai Tenkaichi 3 HD remake and said, like, we were Satan. That's not how the table <laughs> worked. That's not how it was spread up. We, and it's, it's I mean, you know, it's still, 
kind of asking a lot to get this, but it's something the community would really benefit from, and that's why we went for that. But no, getting a whole new team to make an entirely new game and getting them to just kind of up an old one a little bit is not at all the same thing, and that kind of needed to be pointed out too. And something else to point out, Xenoverse is done. What's going to happen now is, is they're going to take Xenoverse and basically build the skeleton for Xenoverse 2, which is going to take way less time. Making that first game is always the hardest and most difficult and longest task. But once we you say get that Xenoverse 2, it might just be off the same engine or something. But yeah, that's yeah. the general idea. Essentially, they, they, they got the skeleton off of this Xenoverse, and they got to take, basically work on that in the next game. So whenever Xenoverse 2 comes out or whatever the next game is on the same engine, that's going to take a lot less time. Uh, but literally to do BT3 HD, they're gonna get the original uh, team together from Spike or Chunsoft now and just be like, hey, make this pretty, put it in a PS4 and Xbox One. Do, uh, it's gonna be downloadable only, so there's not gonna be involved uh, any issues with uh, distribution. It's gonna be just like Power Warriors. It's just bam, it's out online, download it. Well, it's not that easy, but it's gonna be a lot easier than, <laughs> than making an actual game. So again, making BT3 HD is not going to kill the resources uh, involved going into other games. So it's like, do you want a bonus game or not? And on top of that, it won't be full price either. Like, uh, it'll probably be like a $40, $30 game. It's not going to be $60. That's yeah, another would, thing that I saw. It's like, why would we pay $60 bucks for a game that already came out? Again. I would say $40 max. And yeah. on top of that, all right, let's just say you don't want to pay $60 for the new game. Go buy the old one off eBay. Oh, wait, that one's $80 now. <laughs> Seriously, Budokai Tank HD 3. Uh, yeah, $80. $80 on rare. eBay. It's nuts. On so, top yeah. of that, a lot of us don't have PS2s anymore, because that's how much people saying, well, why don't you just play the old version? I have the game, I just don't have a PS2 anymore. Which, if I could get one for like 80 bucks, or I could just wait for the BT3 HD to come out. Even if it did come out for, or even if it did come out for 60, it would still be cheaper. That's what blows my mind. But yeah, yeah this is <laughs> exactly. So again, just to kind of like summarize everything we said, uh, there's no real update yet. When we find out, we'll let you guys know. I mean, if you want to follow us, uh, me and Thundershot on Twitter, I'm at Rhymestall, he's uh, Thundershot75. Uh, links so, will be down below, probably. Yeah, links will be uh, in the description below. If we find out something, we'll immediately uh, you know, tweet about it. Uh, but in terms of video updates, uh, as soon as we find out something, we'll let you guys know. But again, BT3 won't ruin uh, the production of any other game. It's not <laughs> going to ruin the 3DS game. It's not going to ruin Dragon Ball HD. Oh, not Dragon Ball HD, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes. It's not going to ruin any of those games that are being worked on right now. Well, not Dragon Ball Heroes, because it's already out. But you, you get my point. It's just going to be a bonus game. Think about it as, is you want the free game? No, not the free game. You want the you want two games or one? Yeah, it would yeah, essentially. It was it was Budokai Tenkaichi 3 HD or nothing. Those those were like you're not losing anything, you're not yeah. yeah. That's that's the end of it. But yeah, we've rambled on about this wait, stuff wait, wait, long. And enough. one more thing I just want to cover. A lot of people also said uh you know, was there a possibility of getting online? The way I've seen um, HD remixes usually work is they take the most recent version of the game and they remake it. The most recent version of the game was the one that came on the Wii, and that's the one that actually had online. So there's a good possibility that if the game was to be remade, they would take that version of the game and basically uh, give us an online version of BD3. But then again, I, I can't confirm. I'm just saying because like I've seen people take most recent versions of the game and then make the HD version of that. So I don't know if it have it online, but there's a good possibility that if it did come out, it would have online. All right. No, I think it's gonna go. I think it's a good stopping point. It's gonna go and wrap it up for us here today. We are uh, Thundershot and Rhyme Style, filling you in on. We just want to let you guys know what was up, give you the heads up, and then kind of clear up some other things that we maybe didn't make clear enough the first time around. But that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you guys for coming out. We hope you guys enjoyed the little update video. As always, we are Thundershot here with Rhyme Style. Yep. And, and if you enjoyed today's video, if you're still hyped for BT3, make sure you push that like button, leave a like right below. Let us know feedback in the comment section below, because again, the more feedback we get, the more we can expedite this, I guess. So, yeah. All right, it's all gravy. <laughs> and we are out. Peace, guys. Peace.